50 years later, Masangri Sea is still a powerhouse. 50 years ago today, Go Nagai's Masangri Sea debuted, and it went on to change the world of giant robot anime and anime in general forever. Today, fans around the world are celebrating the show's legacy, and it's one heck of a legacy. We'll be here all day if we try to outline everything it's done in its time. But for the time being, here's a brief rundown of its more notable influences in our favorite form of entertainment. Robot pilots. Prior to Masangri Sea, getting in the robot wasn't really a thing. Mecha pilots in the past used remote controls, hung on for their ear life, and otherwise didn't really do what we think today. But the change when Koji Kaputo jumped in to hover her piloter and knock it on Z's massive head, he was the first man in the mech, in the mech and it's been that way ever since. The robots in the series were even treated as extensions of the pilot themselves at times. For example, you might catch Z lunging next to a peaceful raw beast, or Aphrodite, a uh, embar embarrassed at the big god washing in a river. This got played up both for comedic and dramatic purposes. At the time it was unheard of, now it's just sort of how things are done. Super Robot Wars 30 years ago, the first Super Robot Wars game came into being, a spin-off of Bampresto's Combat Hero series, and put you in charge of enemy robots from famous shows. In particular, the tactical RPG handed you the keys the units from Mas Mobile Suit Gundam, Get a Robo, and Mazanger Z. Gunaga has been an essential part of Super Robot Wars since day one, and there's a lot of cross-pollination. Thanks to the power of Kree with our enemy robots, we have Mazakaiser as spotted up Z made to fight at the same level as New, Me New Mecha. Mr. Kaiser then went on to get his own anime. Imitators and Rebels When something changes the landscape, two things happen. First, lots of people jump on the bandwagon. Second, a lot of other people work to support the new hotness. In other words, without Masagrasi, in a way, we have Gundam. The 1970s was the era of the super robots, powerful, brightly colored mecha piloted by shouty teen heroes. Yushiyuki Domino will throw his hat into the ring making contributions drawn to his work on Raiden, Voltus 5, and others. And then he asked himself and us, what did the pilot didn't want to fight? That was Amara Rei, the antithesis of Koji Kaputo and all who would come after him. Decades later, Gundam stands as the progenitor of the real robot genre, next to Z as the beginning of the super robot genre. No wonder we both constant represents a super robot wars. Need more giant robots in your life? Here's what you should give Gaugaikar a try.